Hello and welcome back to English Idea. This is Rim Alam and and this is the second episode of How to Speak. In the first episode, we talked about the first five question which is over here. And in this video, we will be discussing about this five questions. In my previous video, I also asked you all to um answer these questions and uh, i did get some emails regarding them so this is just a reminder from me that if you want to talk to me one to one um you can literally like talk to me directly if you want to do that if you want to discuss uh, about the these questions or if you want to talk about you know how you can move to um to this states or to canada or anywhere in the world um if you want to know more about the procedure uh, if you want to know how a broad life is or whatsoever if you want to talk about anything uh you can do that um you just simply have to give me a super thanks it will allow me to uh see, you know it will make your comment highlighted and then i'll be able to see that and once i see your comment i will be reaching out to you in order to schedule an appointment so that we can have one to one zoom call and in that zoom call you will be able to talk to me about um your studies about dealing or any other english uh, proficiency test you can also talk to me about your university about the subject that you, you would like to go i am not a pro but uh I have been to different countries for study purposes. Um I am currently in the United States of America as a student. Uh I got the F1 visa. So I do have quite a knowledge about it. If you want to speak to me if you think that um you know you can come to me and speak, you can just do that. Feel free to drop by. um to watch more videos like this don't forget to give a like share comment subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new content all right now we will start talking about these five questions question number 6 talk about your favorite movie question number 7 talk about your favorite cafe or restaurant um question number 8 we have uh discuss your favorite shopping location question number 9 we have to talk about one of um our favorite sport and the final question is to describe the favorite uh your favorite flower now before i proceed with my today's video i just want to remind you that each topic like our first topic is favorites each topic has 15 questions in my first uh video i have covered five questions in this video i'll be covering five more questions and there will be another video where i'll be covering um five more questions so this topic has 15 uh questions uh i have more topics like this i have a total about like eight to nine topics and each of the topics has 15 questions this uh series how to speak is is great for everyone who would like to um you know improve their speaking improve you know how to speak and what they should be saying and what not all right now let's move on to the main part of the video all right so as you can see here is the question talk about your favorite movie the first question is can you tell me when and where you saw it the second question is what is the genre of this film the third question is what kind of movie was it and the final question is what was the plot of the film as you can see these are the main points of my answer obviously if you know if you just say these four lines it will not make up to 30 seconds and you need 30 seconds in order to um you need to at least speak for 30 seconds right that's like the la- the requirement but you should be speaking more than 30 seconds so i connected these into making this model answer you can go ahead and pause the video and read it out i'll be reading out now So the model answer is my favorite movie is Coco which is directed by Adrian Molina and Lee Ongrich. The movie was released on November 22nd, 2017. I watched it for the first time in the middle of the pandemic when I was quarantined in my dorm. 
the movie falls under a, the animated fantasy film genre. Moreover, this movie has a pinch of comedy in it, while the rest of the movie is all about inspiration, great music, family bonding, and love. Sadly, this movie can also bring some tears at the end, but it is a great movie to watch. The final plot of the movie was how honesty is all it takes. If one is dishonest throughout his life, even in death, he will not be spared. As you can see over here, I have simply, you know, just mentioned the main ideas, but over here I connected them and that is what you have to do in order to, uh, you know, speak and talk. And that is all you have to do. You have to, you know, make these small answers and then connect them. When you connect it on it, then you will be able to give a proper answer. There are some um, linking words that I have used, very basic linking words. Why don't you all go ahead and tell me what are the linking words that I have used? Also, let me know if you all want me to make a separate video solely about linking words and the different kind of linking words and everything. All right, now we'll be talking about the seventh question, which is to talk about your favorite cafe or restaurant. So the first question is, where is it? The second question is, what does it look like from both inside and outside? And the final question is, what kind of food did they serve? So over here, again, you can see I've simply mentioned, you know, where is it? Um, how does it look and what kind of food, right? I just mentioned them. But here I got a big answer. Just look like three simple um like three simple lines came up here right so why don't you all go ahead and read it you can pause the video I read it out now so the model answer is my favorite restaurant which is located in Malaysia is the topic of my discussion today the amount was large for a low price and it was an extremely student friendly eatery the nicest part for me was that I could always take the leftovers home with me. The restaurant's decor was minimal yet elegant. The servers were wonderful and the restaurant offered both Mexican and Arabian food. Both of are my favorite. Very simple. I haven't really used something which is, you know, out of the dictionary like these are very simple English words that, that I've used and simple linking words. Again, go ahead and tell me the linking words that I have used here. And the third question for today's video is where we will discuss our favorite shopping location. The first question is what makes it your favorite spot? The second question is, when you get there, how do you feel? And the third question is, what are some of the items you purchased from this? Always remember, you have to connect these three answers together to make one big answer. To make one big answer like this. Certainly, answering these three lines will not be enough. I'm sure you all know that, you know, you, these three lines will not make not even make like hardly 15 seconds so remember you always have to connect these answers and make up something big and talk about it you have to speak as long as possible okay so now go ahead pause the video and read the model answer i'll be reading it out in a while so the model answer is i love shopping don't we all but shopping also cost me a lot, so that is why Ado is my favorite shopping spot. Everything is extremely reasonably priced. Everything from furniture to school supplies can be purchased there at a very reasonable prices with very high quality. Which makes me feel extremely at ease and happy since I know I can get a lot of items for less money without sacrificing quality. Despite the fact that there are many items to choose from, 
I mostly purchase my dresses, shoes, and occasionally bags or handbags there. So, have you seen how I connected these cushions over here? Go ahead and tell me what are the linking words that I have used in this answer. And in this question, we will be talking about our favorite sports. The first question is very simple. What is it? The second question is how frequently do you play or watch it? And the final question is how do you play it? Again, I have simply mentioned the main idea and here I have connected the main ideas. I've linked them all together. So now you may ask that why is this very small to compare to the other ones that I have shown? Now, you know, if I want to, you know, give more information over here, I can. And that's totally all right. But sometimes what happens is that while we are, you know, like trying to speak a lot or trying to give a lot of information, what we do is unintentionally we you know get out of the topic you know unintentionally we give informations that are not required that are not asked for and when we get out of the topic or when we give information that are not relevant to our topic what happens is that we lose mark you know what happens is that uh, the proctor or the examiner understands that we didn't understand the question and we're just trying to get over it so it is always better to give information but relevant information to the topic it is always better to speak to the point yeah you should be giving a bit information here and there but it should be related to the main idea all right now you can go ahead and read the model answer i'll be reading out in a while um, pause the video if you need to and read it So the model answer is, except for badminton, which I love because a friend from high school showed me how to play, I'm not a big lover of any sport. I stopped playing because I was too busy with other things. But lately, after relocating to the United States, I picked it back up with my college mates. We compete every Friday and Saturday, twice a week. All right, now I'll be moving on to the last question for today's video. And that is to describe your favorite flower. So the first question is, is it common in your country? The second question is, what is it? And the third question is, where is it grown? Again, you can see simple information, um, not really much information in it. They are just the main ideas. Go ahead and read the model answer. I'll be reading out in a while. Pause the video and take your time to read it. I'll be reading out the model answer now. So the model answer is, the flower that I love the most is not very common in my country, but it is not rare either. I just make sure I know where and when it is found. I immediately go there to buy it. The flower's name is English Lavender. I love the fragrance and the color. It is mostly grown in the Mediterranean and Southwest Asia up to India. Again, let me know the linking words that I have used in these two questions. Go ahead and ask me if you have any question. Don't forget to give a like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new content. In this video, I'll be giving the other five questions and I want all of you to try uh, the other five questions. Comment and let me know the answer of these five questions and, and to discuss more about it. Like I said previously, you can always talk to me on Zoom one to one. Um, by sending me a super thanks so these are the questions that I want all of you to try if you want to talk about these questions to me one-to-one -one, um, feel free to send me a super thanks and I will uh, 
set up an appointment uh, and we can talk about these answers uh, one to one by a zoom call i want all of you to try these questions and let me know in the comment section below how does how did it go go ahead and pause the video and take your time to read the questions in the next video i'll also be sharing the model answers of these questions and that's the end of my today's video don't forget to give this video a like share comment subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever i upload a new content